Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome in my video tutorial about Chaos Destruction System in Unreal Engine 5. This is going to be a little bit off topic but very requested tutorial about Chaos based projectiles because normally uh, people use ray casting, uh, line tries by channel to, to, to make, uh, to spawn a physics field and therefore the destruction. But sometimes we want to, to shoot something big or something uh, that flies slowly and uh, well th then we need to spawn a chaos object. So let's just run uh, Unreal 5. Let's create a new first person project. Chaos shooting, yeah. Uh, we don't need starter content, just choose blueprint, first person and let's create it. Great. So the scene looks like that. We can, uh, we can shoot bullets, but we want chaos bullets, of course. So let's open up the content browser, let's go to first person project uh, hmm. actually we won't use it we will make a totally new bullet from scratch uh, let's go to fracture mode well I, I won't explain everything uh, very very in very detail because it's gonna be in the chaos tutorial series and this tutorial is a little bit well it should be later <laughs> but I got so many <laughs> requests uh, so let's drag and drop any fresh cube into the scene this is going to be our bullet or maybe maybe we want a uh, sphere yeah <laughs> it looks more like bullet right <laughs> so uh, this is normal sphere and we want to make a ge geometric collection um, to make it work with chaos. Let's call it uh, something like, maybe let's make a new folder, bullet, and let's make bullet GC, yeah. So now it's, it's, it's working perfectly, but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's say, yeah, maybe later. Uh, let's click this this button here to make new bl blueprint. Mm, bullet BP bullet GC. Why not? And let's make a new blueprint out of it, so we can spawn it in the world, right? Yeah, and we have our bullet ready for now on uh, so I will remove it let's go to normal mode right now and we just need to find where it's spawned on oh, this one so when you find this file first person character it's in first person BP blueprints here this one and you have spawn projectile code in the event graph and it's just spawning the, the, the yellow projectile oh actually we could make it yellow that would be a lot nicer but not GC but where is our blueprint uh -oh. Ah, it's here. I wanted it here. All right. BP Bullet GC. Open full blueprint editor. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. What's the material? Hmm. 
First person project, uh, yeah. First person project, uh. Oh, cool. <laughs> so nice, we have a nice project tile, chaos project tile, and we just need to spawn actor from class and let's pick our class bullet gc bp bullet gc so um, connect this with this this with this and also also this with this because we don't want to spawn the normal projectile anymore yeah we could just replace yeah well, we can play sound too why not all right so for now on we should spawn bullets without any force cool well they are pretty big but we will leave it for now on great and now the tricky part is to create such force physics force in chaos to push the bullet in a selected direction right so let's go to content browser to our bullet folder let's right click new blueprint class actor let's call it something like I don't know chaos shoot force yeah should be fine Uh, where is that? Chaos should force. All right. So this is basically nothing. Let's go to event graph. Let's create a new uh, event. Add custom event. Fire. So mm, we have to add a few components to make. Uh, the, the force the fields work right let's add a field system because it's necessary um, let's add, add um, arrow to indicate uh, direction of the direction of the force uh, in which direction we want to push chaos uh, geometry right and let's add also sphere collision just to well ah, it's overlap all right uh, but we can turn it off no collision no overlap just to oh I wanted it here just to indicate what's the you know size of the force so uh, all the geometry all chaos geometry inside of the sphere should be pushed along the arrow when the fire is called right all right but for that we need a few more things that we are going to create in a second let's drag and drop field system add field transient field So it will just make a, a field for for a second, not not a second, just for a moment, right? It's not persistent. Let's enable it and let's choose linear velocity. Yeah. And now the tricky part is <laughs> to actually make the the field node, right? Uh, we need a radial fall off component, uniform vector component. an operator field to connect both of them the radial fall off let's uh, set radial fall off yeah mm, sphere radius it should be get sphere radius and let's connect it with this all right 
and now let's drag and drop uniform vector set uniform vector uh, let's make a new variable uh, which is called force magnitude and it's gonna be float let's compile it uh, set for like 5000 or 10,000 never too much <laughs> let's connect it with this node and let's drag and drop our arrow get forward forward vector and yeah that's the direction all right Oh, actually, you know what? Yeah. This should be one, I think. Yeah. Anyway, let's drag and drop our operator field. Set operator field. Yeah, it should be exactly here. Yeah. This is our left field. This is right field. Multiply. Yeah. And now we can connect it with our at transient field node. Uh, oh, we need also to get location, get world location of our sphere. So this is position of our field. This is direction of our field. And here we have magnitude of our field. Right? Hope you you have it and now we need to go to our first person character because nothing works yet we have to spawn this field but uh, I did it on purpose to separate these two these two things because I don't want to, to, to have that force in my bullet we can destroy the force after it's used mm. Chaos shoot force. So let's spawn this right after the bullet. Bullet. Uh, yeah. And let's call, of course, fire. All right. Let's test it. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's maybe use something like four thousand for the magnitude because it's pretty strong. Um, cool. And well, to prove it that and that it's chaos, uh, let's create another geometric collection shapes sphere and let's call it ballot GC fractured we will use uniform fracture to fragment it well just click the fracture button and yeah we can come back to normal mode uh, first person project uh, right uh, yeah now just uh, save it save everything because it likes to crash a lot so <laughs> um, Let's go to our blueprint BP bullet GC click on it and choose another rest collection bullet GC fractured and now we should uh, should shoot with our uh, fractured bullets yeah so it uh, it looks really weird I know 
Mm, but it's because of two things actually. Uh, when you put our bullet in the scene, you see how it breaks. <clears throat> it it breaks really weird. So double click on the on the rest collection here and choose here level set to make the collision uh, well better quality collision because it was box approximation for all the parts for all the pieces so now let's uh, let's uh, shoot and it looks <laughs> really much better but if you well if you look closely sometimes it's like it doesn't smash so well Oh, F FPS drop. It doesn't smash so well. Uh, I mean, it it like hi hits the wall, but gets uh, destroyed later. So in order to fix that, we could let's go to our BP Bullet GC. Click on it and disable clustering. In, in this way, first hit of the bullet, holy crap. Okay, the problem is that um, this pushing field uh, affects only a part of the sphere, uh, as you can see. <laughs> a few parts of it uh, are, are blown away, but the rest, uh, well, doesn't get that force and uh, it's not shooting them. So we have to go to house shoot force and set the sphere radius to something bigger like uh, 100. And yeah. That's the thing. And now as you can see it it smashed so well. Well, if you if you hmm, if you turn off the turn on clustering it's not that good. As you can see, it's not uh, well smashed instantly always. So that's that's pretty important to turn turn the clustering off because it it looks a lot better. Oh yeah. Wow. This is so awesome. <laughs> and this is basically how make how to make chaos based projectiles. Well, you can of course make force magnitude something like a thousand. So we have very slow bullets. Well, but it's boring. <laughs> that looks a lot better. And yeah, that would be all for now on. I hope it helps someone. Actually, one more thing. We could go to Chaos Shoot Force and call destroy uh, destroy actor after firing and maybe let's also rename the function. And uh, name better name. And yeah. All right. So See you guys, thanks for watching and uh, like, comment and subscribe if you, if you want more videos like that. And of course, Chaos Detailed Tutorial Series is coming. Bye!